Don't see book. I don't want. Uh, Hare Krishna in Tamil. You like. Hare Krishna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You have not remembered any Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Narasam Thakur? I know, but not by heart. Oh, you are not easy. <laughs> <laughs>
was sitting by the side of <coughs> he asked that why you are upset it seems that your mind is not here he told that indeed you are telling that so i am upset and my mind is not here you know that naam vai ko tirishthami ko ishami vai kunje yogi naam hrade na cha jab na prapt gayanti tap tirishthami na ka krishna told narad i am not a in vai kunje i am not in any devotee's heart when the devotees are singing heart in melodious tone and quite observed with tears and melting hearts at once i used to go there today i am think, thinking that some songs are coming very melodious and heart melting from the quarter of rupee perhaps there is going something someone is talking about me so i cannot be here the matter was that All the queens, Rukmini, Shatabhama, Jamwanti, and Kalindi, all were there. They were a shankun dindi, court of yard of Rukmini Devi. All the queens were telling to Rohima, but they were mother. Baldev, that mother, we are here more than fifteen thousand and one eight, one hundred eight. Very beautiful queens. In whole world, we are qualified. Among them. Rukmini, Jamwanti, Shatabhama, Rohini, Kalindi, Bhadra, Mitra Vinda, Nagnajita, and all are prominent aids. We are so qualified. We are so beautiful. More than any of world women. But Krishna is not controlled by us. Sometimes, sleeping with me in one cot here, and he weeps bitterly, and he tells like, "Oh Radhe, Oh Radhe, I cannot live without you. Be merciful to me." O Lalita, O Vishak, Vishak, where you are? Whole night waiting, and thus his pillow and bed is wetted with his tears. Sometimes he takes my hand in his hand and tells as if he is mad. O Radhe, why you have done man to me? Why you are angry to me? So whole life passes and waits. Sometimes he feels so much melted heart that he calls mother, 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 dear Sudhi, where you are? Give me bread and butter, bread and butter, butter. <laughs> My cows are hungry. I must go at once to cow herd. 
while they are calling me Dham Shri Dham Sudham Vasudham Sto Krishna Lavanda Arjuna Guruji. All are calling. They are waiting for me on the door. And all the cows are humming. But Moving. 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 Very loudly. They don't give milk to their children, their cops. All hmm, are hankering for me, so I must go at once. They don't think that I am in Dwarka with my beloved Rukmini Queen. Or Satyabhama, he always demands for pleasure. Why? What is there? In pleasure, there are no wealth as we have here. Gopis has no ornaments like us. They are not beautiful than us. Why? Krishna has given his heart to Gopis. They are living in forest. They can get over that sun, only with flowers, not with golden and jewel. There, Krishna used to go to cow herds, and here he is like a king. But why he demands all this like that? We want to know this. Do, do they know some magic, jadu, jadu means magic? Or they know any mantra, Vashikarna mantra? Vashikarna mantra? Controlling. They know anything. So if they know something, that is why Krishna is always remembering it. And they are always waiting for them. Why? Then Joshua, um, Roni Devi, he remembered all the past times of Krishna. From boyhood to when he was at 12 or more days, all gracefully past times of Krishna he was remembered. In the meantime, the mother of Kans, it was too old of one, one hundred years, more than that. She was like it, bending like this, always head like this, always walking on a street. She came and told that, oh, very dangerous thing. Why you are talking for gopis and gops? They were very cruel. Very cruel, very cruel. Even Jasoda, he could have brought up and nurse Krishna and Pandit. Krishna and Baldevya are the son of Devaki. But anyhow, by the fear of Kamsi, they were sent to Gopur. But he never gave a drop of milk to Krishna and Baldev. Sometimes they used to thief in Nevara's house, Gopi. And then they used to complain to Yasoda and Yasoda at once. He used to wipe them in Grindel, sometimes their hands here, and sometimes chastising. How is it this? He never gave a shoe or chapel even. Because in forest there were so many thorns. Cows used to go here and there in thorns. And the pieces of the stones like well thorns. But Yasoda was so cruel, and Nanda Baba was also so cruel that he never get, 
Krishna supplied any shoe or any umbrella. umbrella. So hot in India, in present. And he never gave. So don't tell their histories. I know them. They never paid anything. Whole day from morning to evening, they used to graze cows here and there without any pay, without shoes and umbrella. And he never gave his butter, so much butter there, but he never used to give. Like a servant, anyone can give something, but never she gave. Always the repeating. Once she tired Krishna, and Krishna was weeping bitterly, but that lady has no mercy at all. She has two cales, stick, stick and wanted to meet Krishna. And this mother, 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 don't, don't be. I will never do. He has never done that thing with his sister. So, uh, here I am telling you that my husband is, Ugrashen, is so merciful. I think Krishna was 12 years there. And he has taken the milk of Yasoda. And they have taken some, after then, they, when they became of five years, five years to twelve years, they have taken bread and butter something. So we should count that what was the ex, they have expended for Krishna for twelve years. And we should also count that how many days, how many years Krishna has grazed there. So this is paid for grazing to Krishna and Bhante. There will be some amount of rupees. And also Krishna took there, they gave some cloth. So we will count everything and we will call Gargachar, he is so expert in accountant, also astrologer. He knows everything. So when we count, make a statement, what was the salary of Krishna and Baldev for grazing? And what had they expended for Krishna and Baldev? Following we will not pay. Because he is the party of Yasoda and Nanda and Gopis. We will never pay for Rohini. Only we can pay for Krishna and Baldeva. So, there should be a report for this. And when the, it will be balance, it. balance, if anything comes, we will pay double. Because we know that the salary of Krishna and Baldeva is more more and much more than he has taken something. Because he has, sometimes he has uh, gone to another neighbor house and he, there he has stolen and taken. At that day, we will not count. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> she was telling like this, Rani became so angry too. Okay. Uh, my husband is so Broad-minded and generous and very merciful. So if anything comes in balance towards Jasoda and Nanda, we can pay double. And if our balance is more for grazing the cow for Krishna and Baldev, then we will give up. Very generously, piteously we can give up that. No, we don't want. So, we, we are calling to Gargar Chatya. Then Ma Mother Rohini became so angry. <laughs> I know who are you. Who was she? Wife of Ugrashen. But Kans was not son of Ugrashen. 
Once this Padma in young age was playing with her shakis on the bank of Yamuna. At the same time, it was evening, and in the same time, Drumil came, Drumil a demon. And he took her, and comes was there in his own. So I know that you are not chest lady, and that is why you are not knowing the um, glory, of glory of love and affection of Rishvashi. And that is what I mean so. So it becomes so serious. He stopped Padma and began to tell how Rishvashi Love Krishna like their eyes, people of eyes. People of eyes. They cannot be without Krishna. Jasoda once, first day when he was going to great cops, being a little baby. Rani Maya is telling this past time that when Krishna and Baudev are on their first day were telling again and again, Mother, we want to go to cowherds because we are both. Let us give order. But they were not giving order. At least when they began to speak, then Jasodhamaya yeah, told. That with cost you should go very nearer to this field and this Vrindavan and again return back. But she brought very beautiful souls and umbrella that Krishna used to take and wear this sandal. Krishna told the mother, cows are our worshipable. We worship cows. They are like mother. If you want to give me, then bring shoes for all the cows, legs and nine legs of cows you should bring. If one lakh, then four lakhs, because they are at four feet. <laughs> and umbrella for all. And then giving them, and then I may take the shoes and umbrella. Otherwise I cannot. So I can, I want to worship them. Not their master, but being a servant of cows. Because I am Gopa. What is the meaning of Gopa? Maintainer, supporter, and nurturer of cows. As a servant of cows. The Sudha could not. They have so much. Once, Jasoda told my boy, all the gopis are coming to me and complaining that you have gone to their houses and you have kept some butter from their homes. Mother, why are you are telling that so? Man ani makhan khayo. Maya, Maya, may nahi ma khan khan. Bhor bhayo, gauwan ke paathe. Bhor bhayo, gauwan ke paathe. Madhuban mohi pathayo. Maya, may nahi ma khan khan. Mother, why you were telling that I have taken ma khan? I have not stolen muffin, I have not eaten muffin. In the early morning, you sent me for cow herding in Madhuban. And I went there. And always being with cows here and there. And when it became evening, I am coming with cows now. And after that I will sleep. Then when I eat to Makhan, he thinks that I am not your son. 
your own family. You have borrowed me from anywhere. Or I have taken birth anywhere and my mother left me. And anyhow you got me. That is why you will take me like so. So I want to go to Jamna and to jump in Jamna. Or I will go anywhere I like. I'm not going to leave it here now. I found Yasoda began way bitter and impressed Krishna. Oh my son, you have not taken Makhan. I have not told like this. <laughs> then he began to tell Krishna, Main nahi Makhan khayo. Mother, no, I have taken Makhan. And Yasoda <laughs> came, no, 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 no. <laughs> We have not taken that. <laughs> and then he began to what? Karash. Karash Krishna. And weeping. And bearing Krishna with her tears. Tears and bearing from her the breast milk was coming as on <laughs> And then just so that told that I will never tell like this. In future, I will not tell like that. So, Rodi Maya was telling. Once Krishna was going to carry to cover with Shak, Dham, Siddha, Madhu Mangal, and all were there. Lacks and lacks cows. Some black, some golden, some white. white. It seems that it was looking like Ganga. Jamuna and Saraswati were mixing and going. One is the heads and what is the cow, white, black and reddish waxing. Miles and miles. Krishna was going, Mother was also pursuing him, Nanda Baba was also pursuing him. Krishna is telling that it is my oath we used to return now from here and go to your home. Nand Baba, who also he was telling, but they were not easily uh, letting, leaving Krishna. Anyhow, Krishna saw Lanta Vishaka and all other gopis. They are tearing from the windows, some tearing from groves, some tearing from the doors, here and there. <coughs> Krishna was at once attracted. He saw towards Jasotra, Srimati Radhika. Bansi Karan Nipatitam, Bansi Karan Nipatitam, Skharitam Sikhandam, Brastan Chapi Tabasanam, Brijaraj. Jasya Kata Sargat Mimucha Tasya Tan Radhika Paricharami Kadara Shena Krishna saw Srimati Radhika and just so that Srimati Radhika was doing archan from her eyes and Krishna was taking very lovely both eyes two to became Four like this. Krishna began to tremble. Bansi came on earth from his hands. His pitamba came out of his body. And he was about to faint. But Madhamanga, he pushed Krishna and told that, Oh, you are not seeing your father, Nand Baba, you see us. <laughs> so this is the love and affection show. And by this love and affection, Krishna is controlled there. Gopis have so much affection and love that they think we have not a little love and affection for Krishna. Dhanyasamur Matayopi Oh. This is his 
tears are coming with their heart pains. There happens and some uh, black colors. No? So they are called the Krishna Shah. And they are telling to their wives, you can see Krishna very easily. Don't fear, we are with you. But my, our husbands, all are opposing. If you see, they see, see that we are talking with Krishna, we are saying to Krishna, they will come and control us. They will chastise us. So I, we want that we should die and become so, Roni Maya was telling so many past times of Krishna. And all were eagerly hearing. Krishna could not <coughs> stay in the courtyard, there, Kongsi. And he came with Baladev on the door. But when he wanted to enter he, there in the council of Gopis and Roni Maya, there was Subhadra Devi sister of Krishna and Bhante. They blocked, she blocked and told that you cannot come in there. Because Rohini Maya has ordered that be on the door. Anyone should, any male person should not come here. Even Krishna and Bhante should not come here. If it, they are coming, you should stop on the gate. So they stopped the Krishna and Bhante. But sound was coming something. And Krishna very presently was hearing, Balde was hearing, and Subhadra was hearing. Hearing and hearing, there Rani Maya melted. Her heart melted. And all the queens that very wondered how this breath is there. And Krishna hearing and Baldev and Subhadra, they melted. Their hands melted up to here. Their feet melted. Their heart melted. In the meantime, Nara came. And Golda refined Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra. Krishna and Baldev also and Subhadra. He told that, I want a benediction. What do you benediction you want? In the meantime, that is so, that talking was stopped. Krishna began gradually in his own self, Baldev and Subhadra house. And then they entered in the room with Narada, and their Narada told that I want some benediction. What benediction you want? I want that what shape in many things. Your hands were melted. Your feet were melted. Your everything was melted. I want to see forever in this world these three motives. Vikra, Krishna, yes. I will be always presenting Nila Chaudham forever. So Krishna, Baldev and Subhadra are there forever and Rath Jatra festival goes away. He sometimes being whole year in Dwarka and he for nine days he wants to go to Vrindavan. He cannot bear the separation of books and books. So he goes to Vrindavan and this Gundisha Mandir is like Sundarachal or Vrindavan. <coughs> to go here, there and freely meet with Nanda Jasoda and all the gopis. Here, when one day before our festival of Raj Yatra, that is tomorrow is Raj Yatra, Mahotra. So today is Gundita Mandir. First, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not in Puri, then the king of Puri used to manage of everything. 
and they used to send their servants to clean the temple and to wash and to fight wash. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told no. No servant go. We will with our servants. They took to hand thousand and thousand of broom here and took one month three part colors earth and colors and with Madanga and Kata dancing and chanting and singing Hare Krishna Hare Krishna they started from Jagannath and put to go there today and very morning at about six and seven and thousands of persons followed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave each devotee for chandan with his own hands and garlanded them. And they started kirtan in so many parties, jumping, dancing and singing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Deva, Jai Bala Deva, Jai Bala Deva, Jai Bala Deva, Jai Sukhatra Devi, Jai Sukhatra Devi, Jai Sukhatra Devi, Jai Sukhatra Devi. All went there. First they began to groan. Very big courtyard <laughs> and collected here. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that I want to see the devotees how how much they have collected and all saw that the big weight more weight was of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. He used to talk everyone that clear like this clear like this. What was that? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches us that if you want to make seed, bring Krishna and Radha in your heart. Your heart should be like Vrindavan. If you are not making your heart like Vrindavan, very pure and transcendental, Krishna cannot come here. If I have any worldly desire, they are like thorns. They will pinch, pinch in Krishna's body. So we have all these things. What are they? Kaam, Krodh, Lo, Mat, Moh, Mat, Tarja. What are they? Kaam, Lust, Anger, Greed, for worldly desires, and Swiss, anything, hating, <coughs> all these things. Attachment, attachment for worldly things. Quarreling, criticizing anyone. If you want for me, don't criticize, don't be angry. You should try to tolerate. You should be Trina Dapi Suni Chena Tavaravi Sai Suna. Amaniya Manadena Kirtaniya Tadari. If the four qualities are not there, you cannot chant. Never. Because name is transcendental. You cannot chant by your tongue. You cannot see Krishna by your eyes. Ata Krishna Madhi. When you have a desire that I am serving Krishna by chanting, this is my service. Oh Krishna, you should come. Purify my heart and be always Be merciful. And if you are surrendering, offering yourself in the lotus feet of Krishna, mercifully Krishna will come and dance on your tongue. But you will think that I am chanting, but this is not that. Krishna 
transcendental Krishna himself dancing on your tongue. But you are thinking, oh, we are doing it. Never. So there are namaprad, namaprad and suddhana. When you are practicing by your tongue, by your force and these things, then this is namaparad. But when with some shraddha, then it will be namabha. And if it is pure, then himself Krishna. Huh? So we should try to pray Krishna. I am offering myself in your Lord's feet. I am giving up all these worldly desires. There is none, beloved, accepting. You are worldly. Like gopis. Then Krishna may come and sit here. So these broomings and these stones are like these stones. First Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all his disciples, um, associates, broom. Second time again broom. Some little, 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 small pieces. And again broom. And that is was also dust. There was no dust, no anything, no grass, nothing was there. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that, bring water. <coughs> lack and lack, false up. Water was taken from Indra Devna Sarovar. Did not order like this. Hari, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And one was free. Hare Krishna was giving to an order. And he was giving to third person. Hare Krishna. And empty power, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And it was going to in the demon demna from and coming. In a moment lakhs and lakhs parts of water was coming. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself he used to wash everywhere, here and there, roof and roof also everywhere. He was washing the altar, altar that is Singhasan, with his own this. This is Uttariya, like this. My beloved will come and he will see. Because they were thinking himself Radhika, so Krishna. Beloved, will come tomorrow. He is not seeing, see, he, Mahaprabhu is not seeing Baldev and Shubhadra. He is seeing Vrajandananda and Sham Shunda. She will bring him from Kurukshatra to Vrindavan. Seito Paranna Pai. Jalagi Madanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanadanad
and this. It is very often. Is anyone telling that to him? You are saying Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna? Oh, don't tell me. Any person in this world cannot be Krishna. Never, never, never. It is often. It is moneness of the past. So it is very dangerous and very offensive. Anyone should not think anyone that he is God. God is God. Krishna is that thing. Jagannath is himself that thing. We should not do like this. So, then after that he told that he is ignorant person, so he will be happy to him and be merciful to him. He will never do. So, after that, doing Kirtan, they went to Aitota. Aitota means Jagannath Vatika. And there, King Sen, so much prasadam there, so much baskets and baskets of mahaprasadam. Anna dal khechari, vegetables, uh, Manohar Laddu and so many things see. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to display. But anyone is not taking. Then Sarup Damodar told that you and Nityananda Prabhu sit there with Advaita Acharya. <coughs> Otherwise anyone will not take Mahaprasadam. Then Mahaprabhu saw that, oh really they are not taking. Then they sit together. And there, Sarup Damodar, Gopinath, and so many, Baninath, Govinda, and all were distributed in Mahaprasadam. They are Chaitanya, yeah. Advaita Chat told, they said, why is this Avadhuti is sitting here? I don't know his Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. Out of Sudra we don't know. And he is taking prasadam members. Or Brahmanas we go away. He told that, oh, you are Brahmin. And he took Mahaprasadam and gave on the body of Adita Charja and here and there. Oh, he is also mad person. He has done like this. Are you are giving this Uchhist remnant on my body and here and there? You don't know any piece of Vedic knowledge and Vedic culture? Oh, you are aparadi, you are offensive. offensive to this Mahaprasadam. You are telling that this is remnant? It is it is Maha, like Mahaprasad, like Krishna. Mahaprasad e govindne namo. So all discussions were going so high class of these things. Someone thinking that they are swarming, but not swarming. <laughs> They are giving so much inspiration and all the thoughts. So, if you want to bring Krishna and Radhika to you, know, you will have to clear your heart. Then Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra will come, otherwise never come. This is Gundita Mandir. All the what, desires of worldly desires have to pick up. But how, how can you do? <coughs> you should please your good day. You should serve your good day. He will get his strength. And by his strength, he has a sword, very sharp. Very sharp. His teachings are like sword. sword. And by this he will cut. By Harika family, he will purify your heart. You are not qualified to your, yourself. You don't know where and how all the dust and thorns and stones are here. <laughs> so he will do. But you will have to offer yourself to the Lord Spirit of the So this is Gundi Mandir. Tomorrow will be Rath Yatra festival. In morning I will speak on Rath Yatra and in evening 
we will do our pleasure to Bhagavan. Tamil, same thing. We will come on the same thing what I told in very brief and it will come very <laughs> elaborate. So, we will do our business to Bhagavan Tamil. It will be very, very helpful for you. Jagannā Devu ki Jai Tadra Devi ki Jai Balde Prabhu ki Jai Kundicha Mandir Marjan ki Jai All the devotees ki Jai Gau Prima Jai Excuse me, Gurudev. Gurudev, I have to make an announcement. And this is the only opportunity when all the devotees are together. So, if they sit... So, so uh, I will make quickly a few announcements. Um, there was a... Uh, uh, Firstly, there was a song. So tomorrow, with five four medansan, we pick kapal, and generals are there, women's generals, and they should lead Nagar Sankirtan in the morning before class, and then we will all come in class, and we will. Go. Tomorrow some Jagannath Rath Jatta Mahasab is written. Pratap Rudra Maharaj is here. He is himself. He will do all arrangements. <laughs> and devotees will be given very sweet, delicious Mahapuradam. Fire sacrifice will be done there. So, a very good day. So, do first Nagar Sankirtan. You should be present there also with Ganda. <laughs> <laughs> so, all we go, and not so far away, but nearby. So, so uh, next point is. <laughs> next point is that uh, sometimes, because we cannot keep watch of all the. the, the, the uh, uh, community facilities. So if there's need of soap or paper or whatever, that you could uh, uh, please contact Franky um, Shoda Didi and uh, she will make, uh, she will certain that you are, are happy. So another thing is that uh, those who are, have volunteered themselves for the kitchen, uh, good day request everybody to be in class. So we try to get the kitchen work done before class starts so everybody can hear Krishna Kata because we didn't come here to stand in the kitchen when Gloria was speaking. So we, I request everybody who has volunteered for kitchen service that please be on time, because the cook up till now has, has only been in class for 20 minutes to time. So we want to get everybody in. So, so make sure that, that everybody's on time when you're uh, on the list for the kitchen service. Another thing is, is that uh, the authorities here have told us that um, in the rooms, some of the devotees are using the beds without bed sheets and pillow covers. So <laughs>
left me so much. But Hanuman has so many services, I have no service to be in the lap of Krishna and to think that I am son and he is my father is not bhakti. This is not the mercy of Krishna Godhead. I have heard that there are a classes of Sufi in Mohammedan, Sufi. They think that uh, Krishna, um, that God is my wife, and I am husband. Sometimes in Christianity like that, God is, Godhead is my father and I am like son. All are son and Godhead like father. Oh God, give me bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> you should support me and nourish. But this is not, this is a kind of mercy. But actually this is not the service. Not bhakta. Some also think like this, that I should be beloved of Godhead and the Godhead should be lover. That is, I will like this, that I am husband and Godhead is my wife. Because they are lusty, they think this is very okay. But actually this is against the principles of bhakti. We should try to make Krishna our son, our master. If you are becoming son, we cannot serve our father mother in childhood because father and mother, our mother always serving us. So we think that we are father and mother of Krishna or Godhead. Or we are like wife of Dwarka and Krishna is our head. And moreover we can think that Krishna is my beloved. I should serve Krishna in this way. So becoming son and thinking Krishna is father, actually this is not or myself is husband and Krishna will serve me always like husband, being wife. This is not bhakti. So Prahlad Maharaj is here telling that Hanuman is serving always around. But I cannot serve him. Nishin Bhagavan, because he is creator and his God, creator, generator and destructors of the whole world. So how can we serve him? Krishna, Nishinga Dev gave me a big kingdom. This is not the mercy of Nishinga Dev. Why? Because Krishna has told himself, Jadadu Granami Harishyata Dhanam Shanayi to whom I give my mercy, I make them a street beggar. And after that, if he wants, I can give whole kingdom, whole world, everything else can be. But first I make a street beggar. Because if Nishinga Dev gave me so much big kingdom and all these things, affluence, so much uh, Dhan, wealth. And that is why those who have no relation with me, they come and they say, Oh, I am your Sala. Sala means? I am your protagonist. I am your father's brother. I am this and that. They will make any relation to take your wealth. <laughs> so, so many will become friends. But when you become poor, they will give up you. They will letter and chat, chaplushi karenge. They will flatter in you. Like once 
that are lacking in Western countries named Canute. He has so many counsel, counselors. Once he went to visit sea, he came on the bank of Samudra no, Mahasamudra. Ocean. Eh? Ocean. Pacific Ocean. And he was just standing on the shore. Waves were coming. Up to his feet. Sometimes coming on this. One counselor said, Oh, my lord. <laughs> Ocean wants to wash your feet and he wants your mercy. That is why he again and again he is coming and washing your feet. He began, began to smile. In the meantime, a very big wave came and thrown him and gave him to see. So this is, these are flatterings. So if you have so much wealth, reputation and everything, or all uh, neighbors and all relatives will come and they will take your time, they will, take, they will try to flatter you and waste your time. So Krishna does not give this. So Nishinga Dev gave me this kingdom, but it is not really his mercy. If the Krishna is giving wealth, so much thing, and you are collecting so much money, then you should see that it is not mercy of Krishna. We are going opposite to Bhakti. Yes, we do, which is helpful for Bhakti. And which is against Bhakti, you should try to give up. This is the symptom of pure Bhakta, devotee. devotee. Also, he is telling that you were telling that I taught so many demon children. Oh, that is why I cannot leave my gyan bhakti. There is some defect in my bhakti. Yo, what is that? My bhakti is mixture of gyan. So, I am gyani bhakta, not pure bhakta. What is the meaning of Gyani Bhakta and Gyani? What is the difference? Gyani is someone who is, is Bhakti is adulterated because he has a desire to merge with the Lord. Yes. Or to attain liberation. And Gyani Bhakti is one who is a devotee, but he has a conception of the Lord's opulence. Yes. And therefore his... That Krishna is no bhakt. <coughs> No death. He never becomes hungry, not thirsty. He is always gany, full of knowledge, full of power, everything. He is self satisfied, atma ram, atma kam, nothing to serve him. This is gany bhakta. Bhavna janma namante, gany man prapadyate, basu deva sarva mitisha mahatma. After some time, being in the association of pure bhakta, like Hanuman and others, like Brahma, Sanakshanandan, Sanatan, became pure devotees, like Sukadeva Goswami, in the association of Vyasadeva, they became pure rasik bhakta. So he is telling that, I am always with the children of demons, and I am teaching them only what teaching? You should give up all these things, worldly matters. Try to chant and remember. Shavadam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padashivanam, Archanam, Bandanam, Dasham, Sakram, Nivedanam. You should do. We are not told that you should have any relation with Krishna. Hmm? Without relation. Hanuman has some relation. What relation? He is my Prabhu. He is my protector, Shaiva. And everything, I am his servant. Forever. So we will have to make any relation with Krishna if you want to serve her. Especially in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hmm. But there are four relations. Hmm. One. Dasya, Sakha, Vasalya, and Madhu. There are four relations. 
In French, there is no relation of Shanta. But anyhow, it is there. But it is like covered. So, we should have any, make relation. Krishna is my son, like Jasoda has the relation with Krishna that Krishna is my son. Nanda Baba has, like this. Krishna is my dear friend, Gautam friend. Like in world, we have some friend. Krishna is not God. We'll have to give up that thing. It will automatically, it will go. That Krishna is Lord. He is creator and everything. He is, has so much affluence. When Krishna comes in religion. So, friends have known that thing. Only that there is wisdom friend. And there is very superior advanced relation is that Krishna is my beloved and <coughs> his beloved in this way. Any of this, you can have any relation, what your Gurudev has given. In our line, we are so much lucky and fortunate that Guru gives the mantra, Gopal mantra and all, and everything in that state. Shatha is also there, Shan mood is also there, and also Beloved mood is there. Gopi Janabal Lodhayashwa. If anyone getting trench on Krishna, then Shan or friend, Govinda and Gopinath, especially for Gopi Janabal Lodha, especially for Beloved. Try to understand all these things by Guru Dev. <coughs> Go on chanting, remembering very strongly. Don't think that this is problem. You are not doing bhajan, that is why problems are coming. And if you are strongly doing bhajan, all problems will quickly go away like clouds by air. So have a faith, a very strong faith on Krishna and chanting and remember. It is so powerful. You know that there was a deer. He was grazing in the land. He was ignorant. Very happily he was grazing. Very green grasses. There was a river on any side. And a very big cruel hunter came and he gave some nets on one side. And other side, there were some dogs, yes. very strong and furious. And one side, he fired some fire. It was going on very blunder. Understand? Yes. It's like the fire. Yes. And he was in the midst. He at once saw that the hunter came from jungle and he was trying to shoot at once. And he saw and felt so much. What to do? What to do? He wanted to jump, but he saw that river, big river, current is there. And river is so white, white. he cannot cross. But once he wanted to jump another side, he saw that, oh, fire is burning. If he will come, jump, he will go in fire. At once he wanted to go on other side, he saw that, oh, very furious dog, like Tigers, they are running to catch me. What to do? He closed his eyes and began to chant. Hari, oh Hari, save me, oh Hari, oh Krishna, save me. There is none to save me. 
take his step. And he kept his hands up, far away from all problems, and was in chanting and prayer. And once a cloud came, and a very big air came, a storm, wind came, and he took the jal, jal, name, oh, very far away. And he was doing so, so some dust came in his eyes and it was full of dust. And at once his aim was missed and the arrow, yes, and it went towards dogs. And dogs were killed. And the fire was subsided by him. A rainfall. Everything was Okay, he jumped, he, he closed, opened his, opened his eyes and he saw that snake has gone far away, dogs are bad and this hunter is doing like this, rubbing his eyes and everything is now So he quickly ran and went in the forest. We are all like this, upside danger, they Side, they lower, they when arrow will come and shoot me, we don't know. One side of the nest is coming very running quickly. Jar, that means diseases are coming. The net is ready. And world is burning. So many problems like this world. If you chant. Oh Krishna, I've taken your shelter. Please give me your shelter. Save me. And quickly, without delay, Krishna will come and help me. Save me for So try to do like this. So, if there is wealth, all relatives have come. And they, they will Make problem for your bhakti. Anyhow, if they have gone, it is very good. Very good. They are like dogs and hunters. They will take my time of bhakti. If anyone's husband has get given him, don't try to make another husband. They will make so much problem. Be careful for that. If your wife has got to you, don't try to make another wife. If you come and more and more problems will come, they will dance on your head <laughs> with brooms. <laughs> Sometimes they will clear your <laughs> back, backbone. <laughs> they will make a straight your backbone. <laughs> hmm? So be careful. If Krishna has arranged, then be. And if your wife, husband are all household in bhakti, gone like Pandava. You are lucky that has a house, um, wife and husband like this. Pralat Maharaj is telling, I can go to, to Nishinga Dev alone. Hanuman can go to alone. But Pandavas, with all their family, they will go to Krishna. And so, eternally there, so they are more fortunate than us. Also he is tell, telling <laughs> that someone tell that I, mm, that Krishna lives in Sutta, in shape of Bali Maharaj, but I don't believe. Someone tell that, oh, once Durvata went to Sutta, to see Krishna there, to see Bhaman there. Why? Because all them, uh, dem, um, God, demi, semi, semi God, demi God, demi God, were so much disturbed by demons. They all told to the Vata that go to Sutta and tell Bhaman there, again they are attacking and making so much problems. So, go and tell that he should come and save us. He went there. He met Bamandev and he 
he prayed for the Bhaman they told, I cannot go. I cannot leave Bari Maharaj because they have painted me. I cannot go. So go and see any other thing. There. So anyone can chant and remember and dance, Krishna will quickly come. So I think that Hanuman is so much more better, more superior than me. Go to him. He at once jumped up Nagesh and went to Hanuman. I have glorified Hanuman in so many ways. So when he met, he began to glorify Hanuman and wanted to do pranam. When he was coming from this sky Nara, at once Hanuman jumped up. And this guy he impressed Nara that he knew that he will come and do pranam to me. <laughs> that is why strictly he jumped up and he catch hold of embraced Narvish and slowly he came to ground. Then Narv began to glorify him. Oh, even today I have not known everything, brother. I never thought that you are so much lucky and so much uh, dhanya. Blessed. Blessed. Today I am. You are servant, you are shakha, friend, you are soldier, you are general, you are doctor, advisor, advisor. all things you are offering. And you are served in so many ways. Today I am. And he began to dance and began to glorify Bhagavan. <coughs> Man told, Oh, you don't need it. But I think that you are master of love and affection. Hmm? But you are tricky, that is why you are. You have come to do any trick to me. Hmm? But I know everything. Hmm? I know that I am so much unfortunate and unlucky. Nārda Rishi began to hear very patiently and very, what is it? He told that Ramayana girls to gone to his dham with Sugriv and all others. And he left me here alone in this world that he used to give bhakti. He kept me here alone. Now I am so unfortunate without Ram. I cannot serve Ram. And he began to cry. He had given me some chance to serve, but I could not serve him. So he left this world. Now he had come to Dwarka. And now he is taking service from so many. I think one was our best among them. If you want to see any dear and near to Krishna, then you can go to at once to Pandavas. They are in Hastinapur now. So quickly you can go. He told that, and explaining there some glory that when uh, Duryodhan wanted to kill Pandavas, at that time they were not married with Draupadi. Then Bhim was uh, playing with them in any river, Jamuna river. They thought that if Bhim is dead, then Pandora are all dead. Because he is so, stronger than all. So we should try to kill him. Bhim was so fond of sweets. So they made a very big laddu and gave him very <coughs> powerful poison in that. And then Bhim came, they called Bhim to play, and then Bhim came 
and they gave back to the Buddha. And at once they began to take and engage. After some time, he was dead. And they throw it in Jamuna street. Pandavas are searching that where he has gone, where has he? They were unaware of this fact. They returned to their home without him. All their body was waiting for him. And then he went from Jamuna to Ganges in Prayag, and from Prayag with Ganja, he went to Sh to see, and from sea, Bengal sea, he, he went to Mahasagar, Indian Ocean, and from Indian Ocean he went to Patalok. Patalok. And there, there were so many daughters of Nag, very beautiful, young girls. They shot him. They, at once they were attracted to him. But they saw that he is dead. They knew how to make him alive. alive. They fight him. <coughs> At once this beast came and quarreled with that other one and defeated and him at once. Came in senses. They took him to his father and father told that you can marry him. They married with, they were married. And again he came here. And the, the father of the Nag told that from today you will not be affected by any of very big, big, big poisons. So, him returned. Who said this? The father of Nāpat, who were they? Shankarsan himself, Nār, Sesh Nār. So Krishna said they are being as in the shape of Sesh Nār. Sometimes Krishna said to them, from fire, after this they went to anywhere in disguise. They were going here and there in this guy, in the shape of Brahmins, Brahmin boys, wearing here and there. Kunti was with them. They heard that in, in the kingdom of Drupad Maharaj, there is Swambar. Swambar, you know, Draupadi was a young lady and he was to be married. His father, father had told that. I can marry my daughter to one who is so powerful, who can shoot a face eyes hanging on so much high tower, tower. No? and she will moving and over a hill having so many uh, spokes. So, and anyone can shoot her that fishes this eye, he will. And seeing below a tank which was full of oil, seeing there the parchai, parchai, the shadow of this fish, he will have to So many trials. Krishna and Bandai were there. If Krishna wanted, he can shoot easily. But he was watching and giving a chance for his dear friend Arjun and brother Arjun. Hmm? So many came Arjun and Durjodan and Durshasu all felt. Visham Pitama came and he wanted that I should shoot and Give Draupadi to Turjuna. Draupadi at once has stood up. If anyone should, I will marry her, him. So, Bishop Pitama, you are old, you want to marry me? Hmm? So you can shoot, but you will have to marry. Then he left and he sat down. At once, Drona Chati came. 
or you cannot do. Do you want to marry me? No, I cannot. Then go and she. She was so bold to tell all these things, very boldly, not like a no. yours. <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 Husband will tell that you should go out, out my house. Ah, what to do? <laughs> not like this. Very, very bold and very strong character. I once Khan came and wanted to show that facing. He was able, many to. But doctor said, who are you? Who are you? Are you son of any Kshatriya? Are you any prince? He could not reply. I know you are Sutaputra, son of any charioteer. Sit down, I cannot. If you suit even, I will not marry you. Then he felt so much ashamed, and said, I will take revenge. Krishna was seeing, all looking, I'm, he was so smiling with Baldev Prabhu. <laughs> but he never came out, and he was seeing that Arjun should come. In the meantime, Arjun told, he took the feet of Kunti Maya, Yudhishthi Maharaj and Bhim and begged permission that should I do? They told that you can do. He came very gently, very strongly. And he came there, all were saying that oh, this is Brahmin boy <laughs> having sacred tray and it said that he is Brahmin boy, a student. How he can shoot? He is not so much knowing all these things, but he graduated. Some were alive, go, go away, go away. Return, return from here, you cannot do by a Brahmin boy and you are you want to make marry with any princess. He never looked here and there, he at once went there. And in a moment when he did so miracle, at once he suited the eyes of people, people of that face. All that Krishna became at once and embraced. Oh, you have done the right one. Are you told that uh, you have given me chance? Otherwise, if you have suited, you can have done. And Drupti was to marry. But Kandi, you have given me chance. So Krishna gave this chance. So always Krishna protecting other, other um, inwardly or outwardly out. When Mahabharat was ended, Vishnu Pitamaha was dead, Dodarjan was dead, Karn was dead, all were suited. Hmm? Then a struggle between Arjun and Bhim was there. Who has won this fight? Arjun told that I have shot it all. And we was saying that I have done wonders. I have killed Dujyotan and all his brothers and so many things. So I am more stronger than you. I have done, I have won the race. And he was saying, I have won this battle. In the meantime, Krishna told that, don't worry. Listen to me. Come with me. There is a boy on the hill. And he is looking, he was looking that who has fought so much. They went to that boy. Who had that boy? Barbarik. Barbarik, the son of Arjun's son. Ghatotak's son. Before the battle, he came to Krishna and told, I want to be any side of this battle. Either towards being um, uh, him, or if you reject me, then I will go to Durjyotam side. He told that I am a very strong Dhanurthar. Archer. Archer. You are Archer? Yes, I am Archer. What can you do? He, he told that. In a moment I can shoot all 
Vishwam Pitama Arjun don't curl every one. Oh, you can do? Yes. You can show? How you can do? He took a flower on his bow and had pulse to it. And that flower came to all here. Hmm? So this flower came to everyone here and make a shine, his color. He told that like I will take my bow and arrow and I will penetrate their hearts and they will all be killed. Krishna at once took his chakra and killed him. Oh, you have killed me? I wanted to see Mahabharata. I wanted to fight Mahabharata. But you killed me. So I am praying that I should not be killed. Keep my head there. And I will see Mahabharata who is most stronger among them. So he is there. And he took Arjuna and him there. And Krishna told that, Oh, Barbarik, you should tell because you are looking whole Mahabharata. Where, Mahabharata. Who actually owned the race, this battle? Who is most stronger in among them? Especially between Arjun and he said that I never saw Bhim and Arjun fighting. Never, never. I thought that Krishna was only one side and all were in one side. And Krishna killed everyone. So I am saying that Krishna is more stronger than anyone. So Arjun had did nothing, Bhim had done nothing actually. Krishna had done all things. Then their pride of a stronger came outside. So by this he said Pandavas. He has said so much, so many times. Once Bhim was going anywhere when that they were in forest. They are all thirsty. Draupadi Yudhishthir Arjun Bhim, there was no Kunti Devi. <coughs> In twelve years, forest. Always so much thirsty. The saint Bhim that look after, to look after, to search where is water. He went searching water. He saw that in the way, there was a monkey, very old monkey. And he is sleeping. Very lean and thin, doing mm, mm, like this. Then came and told the old monkey, Give me a side. I want to go. There is no any place to go. There. You are sleeping on the middle. In both sides, there is mountains, very hard. So I can go. But I have to go there. So give me any sight. Monkey was mm, I cannot remove. I cannot move. Then then told they said, I will take you with I will catch hold of your late tail and I will throw out very far away. So give me Anyway, he told that, oh, my dear brothers, you can take my tail here and keep there. I cannot move. Then he took his clock in his one hand, and by one hand he wanted to take the tail here. But he could not move. He could not Inch or anyone he can, could not do. Then he kept his club and with two hands he began. But at once he slipped and went so many miles there. <laughs> and who is he? Oh, it means that it is, he is Hanuman. He again came. Oh, Hanuman. You are my guru. You are my 
salary thing. Please be happy to me. Then he quickly woke up and he took embraced. If you are in danger, quickly come to me. You should remind me, meditate me, I will also come and also help you always. So when he used to fight, he used to meditate Hanuman, and Hanuman used to come to him his body and so strong like Hanuman used to give his whole power in him in his death. And so he quickly can defeat him. So Krishna is doing all these things. Hmm? Once Hanuman was anywhere and Arjun was alone, he was uh, going to any place. Hanuman, uh, uh, Arjun made Hanuman. He told that, who are you? He said, who are you? I am Arjun. I am Hanuman. He told that, Arjun told that, <coughs> I am thinking Rama was not so powerful, very weak person. Why he could not make a pull from his arrows? If I was there, in a moment I could have done a very big pull, very strong freeze with my Hanuman told, don't be so proud. Don't be so proud. You are not a strong guy. If I used to jump from a one tree to another, Meghnadi used to uh, shoot me thousands of arrows in the meantime. I will see you, can you shoot me thousand times or not? Understand what I am telling? Hanuman told that at that time, if I was going jumping from one room, uh, one roof to another roof, at the time of giving fire in Lanka. In the second minute, in the second, Meghnath used to shoot me with arrows thousand times. So I am jumping from this tree to that tree and you can shoot. Yes, I am ready. I will let arrow I will give you. Then Hanuman went to that tree, we ready, and he told, and he became, he was going to be ready, in the meantime he jumped and he crossed, and he could not do, shoot any, oh, how you can be like Ram, but if you want to do my test, then you can make a breeze of this river, huh? and I will, uh, I will go on foot on that bridge and press bridge will be broken. But you cannot do. Yeah, I will do. So at once Hanuma, uh, Ram, um, Arjun made a very strong bridge of arrows arrow on that river. Hanuman saw so, a very strong bridge. What should I do? He at once jumped to Himalaya and he became so vigorous and so many big, big mountains he took in his hair, here, there, like that. And he became very, very happy. And he came at once, jumped up and came. And he kept his one Arjun was pulp lighting here. But, Something here. What to do? What to do? And Hanuman was thinking that what to do if it is not broken. Both were trembling. At once, Arjun.
Hanuman called Om Krishna Sevar, because you are Sevar. And Hanuman called his Ram, Oh Ram, save me, otherwise I will be, if I am defeated. So both were calling, I don't go on. Who is on? So both were fierce. If I am defeated, he thinks that if I am defeated, so both, both were calling. Hanuman, anyhow, remembered his Ram, Ram, Ram. He jumped before she telling Ram, Ram, Jai Sri Ram, and he quickly went across the sea. And here he was telling Jai Sri Ram in inside, inside not openly, because he will be defeated. If he is doing. So he told Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sri Ram, uh, uh, my shame is in your hand. And thus he kept his one feet there. And whole values he gave. But praise was like that. It was not broken. What happened? What happened? Oh, Ram said me. And thus he quickly took up his second feet of that. And he just at once he saw a current of blood was coming inside the bridge. And Arjun was doing, Oh Krishna, oh Krishna said, come on here and say. At once Hanuman jumped up from the bridge and saw what is there. Why blood is coming? Oh, he saw that Ram is there and keeping his back inside the bridge. Supporting the bridge. Supporting. Oh, he began to pray now. Oh, Ram, why you are here? And Arjun fit in the bridge and he saw that Krishna had given his back there. And he is supporting Arjun. Both began to, to pray Krishna and Ram. He was saying same Ram as a Krishna and Arjun was saying same Ram in Krishna. Both were praying. At first Krishna came and told, I wanted this, that Hanuman should help Arjun in the battle of Mata. He should always be on the flag of Arjun. And that flag will be called Kapi Thaja. And when any arrow will come, like do he will and take. Sometimes they will share anyhow. So he used to do like this. Hand Karni and Bhisham Pitama wanted to shoot Arjun. From here he began to roll so much that their end was lost. So he used to say, when he was defeating Dushasana and taking his arms, that Draupadi may come and take this plot here and to bind up his case. At that time, he told, in whole world, any if anyone is so bored, he can come and save Dushasana. I will defeat all. When he challenged all, Krishna was there, Arjun was there, and all were there. But a Thisham Pitama, Dron and Karn were dead at that time. So Arjun was there. He could not bear the challenge. He at once took his bow and arrow, Gandhi, and told that I will kill today you. Krishna told him, Arjun, be silent today. I have given my all the strength of Nishim Gharib today in him. And Hanuman is invested his all power in him. So you cannot do anything today. You will be defeated if you are going to quarrel with him. At once, he was silent. He became silent. And began to do that. Oh, Nishim is here. And Hanuman is here. So Krishna, anyhow, used to say Pandavas. So, 
always he was protecting. Hanuman is telling me that I don't go to Vrindavan. Never. Because I fear that so many rishis, munis, even Narad, even Brahma, Indra, Jam Varun, seeing the pastimes of Krishna, they were bewildered. They became mugdha. They cannot decide that, could not decide that. Oh, actually, the supreme personality of God is there any? Go, why? Very simple. They could not decide. If Krishna had done some mistake, Jasodama used to chastise Krishna with stick, and he began to weep. So he is, um, Hanuman is telling that if I go and see, I will do something offense in the Lord feet of them. And when I will go to Vrindavan, and I will see that my holy master, this master, supreme personality of God is, is serving Gopi's lotus feet and dancing with Gopi's like a toy. Krishna was like a toy in the hands of Gopi's. So, I will be bewildered. I may do anything false. So I never used to go to. So you can go to Dwarka and see Pandavas, they are more superior men. So I am a very little, I do Seva of Ram, but very little in last parts of Pandavas. So if you want to see any devotee, you can go to Dwarka, or you should not go to Dwarka, you should go to Hastinapur, where Pandavas are there. He at once jumped up. He began so happy. And he went to Hastinapur, and he saw that Pandavas were there. Pandavas heard that Nardrish is coming. At once they took in a pot, Flavas, Chandan, Chamar, Bezen, 16 kinds of utensils, paraphernalia, paraphernalia, to worship Nara. Hmm? They, they wanted to do pranam to Nara, but Nara wanted to do pranam to them, and he took all the paraphernalia from Yudhishthi Maharaj, and he began to worship. To his teeth and all his death servants also he began to worship. But then thought that what is this? He is our Guru there and he is worshipping us. Hmm. Oh, you are certainly blessed. Your life is successful. I have never seen any devotee like you. He began to glorify. You should try to be humble like Nara and like Pandavas. Very humble. If you are not humble, you are not giving respect to any devotee, then you are not true devotee. All the way to say we have so much tolerance, giving so much <laughs> respect to other devotees, not for them, for him. Don't try to take any fame from him. Always give respect. Don't want to take any respect. You should be so humble. More than a three treatments, that's cross. And more you should be like tolerance, like more than praise. Not this is only in poem of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Tinata Vishnu. Try to be established in this. And you will see that. And very quickly you are very advanced devotee, very near and dear to Krishna. So we should try to obey Krishna, this principle of teachings. First you should try to be established in Gita teaching and then enter into Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charita. Follow Rupa Goswami. Gaur Premanande Pandavas 
की नाथ ऋषि की कीर्तन
Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Rama, H